This afternoon, the Mets face the Kansas City Royals in game two of a three-game series. The Mets are on a roll right now. They've won six of their last eight games after an 0-5 start. Hopefully, the Royals will put a little bit more offense together today, too. Sean Manai making his third start. Trying to clinch his series win today. Michael Garcia leads off. And Garcia hits one past the mound. In comes Lindor, the off-balance throw, and he got him by a stride. One away. A one up, one down, and Bobby Witt Jr. will be the batter. Swing and a soft looper, and that's going to drop for a hit into shallow left center. And Bobby Witt Jr. is on for the first time in this series. And with two on and two out, the batter will be Nelson Velasquez. And he swings and lines it off the glove of Beatty in the left field, the base end. That'll bring in Witt with the game's first run. So Nelson Velasquez green lighted on 3 0. Picks up the third hit of the inning and it's one nothing Kansas City and the Royals have equaled their hit total from last night in the first inning and the breaking ball struck him out he gets Hampson with the slider to end the inning but the Royals cash a run and lead one nothing Alec Marsh he won the fifth spot in spring training second round pick for the Royals so the Mets have a lead off base run so here is Marte. And he drops down a bunt, and it's a beauty, a grass hugger. And Garcia will watch it roll to a stop. You just can't roll it out there any better than Starling Marte just bunted it. So now two aboard for Francisco Lindor, who gets another ovation from the crowd, as he did for all of his plate appearances last night. Marsh from the stretch deals. And a swing and a miss at a breaky ball. He strikes him out. So Alec Marsh strikes out the very tough Francisco Lindor. With runners at first and second, one man out. Pete Alonso coming up. 1 1 to Alonso. And he hits one toward the middle. Base hit. Nimmo around third. He'll come home with the tying run. Mm. Throw goes to second as Marte goes first to third. Alonso stays hot, drives in his eighth run, and the Mets tied at one. We'll have Brett Beatty coming up next. And it's on the ground, a chance for two. Lofton to win, back to first, not in time, and the run comes home. Beatty beat it out, and that gets Marte in, and the Mets take a two to one lead. And now DJ Stewart. The pitch, Stewart drives it towards the gap in right center, Renfro on his horse, he won't reach it, it's in for a hit, it goes to the wall, here's Beatty hitting third, he's gonna try to score, Witt's relay throw to the plate, not nearly in time, Beatty with a head first slide is in safely, and Stewart is standing at second with an RBI double, and the Mets have a three to one lead. And the Mets, you can tell, this is this is something for the, the entire lineup, it's not just one guy hitting, Everybody seems to be feeling it right now, including DJ Stewart. This will be the seventh pitch of the at bat and the 35th pitch of the inning for Marsh. And McNeil slaps one softly to the second baseman, Lofton, and that retires the side. But the Mets put up a three spot in the first inning and lead three to one. So now the Royals have a chance to answer. Bases loaded, two out. They'll all run on three and two. The pitch. And it's outside ball four. What a job by Nick Lofton to work the walk and bring in a run. Back to back walks. Now you've got Salvador Perez coming up, who has hit Manaya well in the past. And the curveball hit toward the hole. That's a base hit. And the Royals will take the lead. Blanco and Witt score on the base hit by Salvador Perez. And it's four to three, Kansas City. One and two to Velasquez. And he struck him out with the changeup. For the Royals, fight right back with three runs to retake the lead. Royals four, Mets three, two outs. And now here's Pete Alonso. That's driven to left field. Back goes Blanco, takes a look, and it's out of here. Pete Alonso homers for the second straight night and ties the game at four. Well, that was a laser beam that Dyrone Blanco in left took a step back and just said, whoa, I'm watching this one. Alonso's fifth home run of the year, and it's four to four in the third. That'll bring up Bobby Witt Jr. Bobby Witt Jr. has reached twice and scored twice. Off the end of the bat to right, and toward the line comes Marte. And he dropped the ball. Witt racing for second. He's going to make it to third as Marte finally retrieves it. And a three base error on wow. Starling Marte puts the go ahead run at third with one out. Marte closed the glove, but the ball wasn't in there. And he's shaking his head now, just a flub. So now the infield comes in. Nick Lofton, the batter. That's lined in the left field, and the Royals will regain the lead. Lofton gets the run home. Witt comes in to score. So an unearned run puts the Royals back in front, 5-4. to four. 
There's Salvador Perez and he gets one of the fists a fly ball deep to left center back goes McNeil near the wall and oh. Nimmo couldn't make the catch it stays in play racing around to score is Lofton and into second base goes Perez and it's six to four Kansas City. I think it got the railing behind the wall. Yeah I think it's a homer. Off the tip and of that his. ball. That's a home run. That's a home that's run. That's a home run. The call on the field is overturned. It is a home run. It is. That's number 250 for Salvador Perez. And the Royals have another run and a lead of 7 to 4. And the Mets looking for the final out in the fourth. Go to Cole Sulzer facing Freddie Fermin. Now another runner in scoring position. Pitch is hit toward Beatty at third and by him. Base hit. Vance Wilson. Waving his arm, Hampson coming around third to throw cut off by Beatty. Hampson scores standing up, and Freddie Fermin with his RBI single makes it 8-4 Kansas City in the fourth. The reliever, Cole Sulcer, hops back out for the top of the fifth. One man away. Witt hits one to the gap in left center, and Nimmo's not going to get to this. It's going to roll back to the wall. Witt can fly. He's around second on his way to third, and he'll make it easily with a triple. Man, can he run. No fooling. Third triple of the year for Bobby Witt, his second hit of the day. Infield in, stay hot, lofted. Swing and a high fly ball. Should be deep enough in right center. It'll be Nimmo gliding over to the alley to make the catch. Bobby tags. Here he comes, and the Royals lead it 9 to 4. Nick Lofton comes through again. Four productive plate appearances. Well, Jorge Lopez will come on now in relief of Cole Sulcer. This is Hunter Renfro with two on and one out. Runner going from second. There's the throw, and it is wide of the bag, but called out. And the Mets, if this call stands up, will have thrown out a base dealer for the first time this season. Oh, he never tagged him. <laughs> I never tagged him. He's safe. Yeah. The call on the field is overturned. The runner is safe. Kansas City retains their talent. And that means the Royals have another runner at third base with less than two outs. Lopez has the sign, deals. That been fair inside the third base line, and down the line it goes. One run will score. Digging towards home plate. Here comes the throw. It will be late. All the way from first to score is Freddie Fermin. Kansas City now 11 runs in the ball game and two more here in the top of the sixth inning. Two men away. Runners now at the corners and the number two hitter Bobby Witt Jr. will be next. And Witt flies this one to deep right center. Back goes Nimmo onto the warning track at the fence. He made the catch. And the inning is over. Nimmo robs. Bobby Witt Jr. of extra bases, but a good round again for the Royals. We go to the last of the sixth inning. So Angel Serpa facing Pete Alonzo. And one two on the way, hit in the air to left field, a deep back goes Blanco, and there it goes. Home run, Pete Alonzo, his second home run of the game. He doesn't leave much doubt. 20th time in his career, he's hit two in a game. First time this year. And that cuts the Royals lead to 11 to 5. But Alonzo is locking in. Well, we go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Starling Marte, the right fielder, leads off the eighth. Marte oh. drives one deep to the gap in left center field. And Hampson watches it go out of here. A home run for Marte. Second home run of the year for Starling Marte. And the Mets creep a little closer. It's now 11 to 6. Third home run of the day for New York. Alonzo with a pair and now Marte goes deep. So now Tyro Taylor up for the second time. First and third and one out. Taylor lifts one to left field. Lindor will tag. Blanco makes the catch. Lindor coming home. Blanco's throw is cut off. So the Mets skim another one off the Royals lead. It's now 11 to 7. Well, the Royals try to close out a win here in New York. Royals lead 11 to 7. MacArthur a strike away from sending everybody home. Two outs, two on. One and two, and the pitch, and a breaking ball grounded to the right side. Lofton comes in, gloves it, throws to first, and the Royals beat the Mets today 11 to 7. Oh, what a character win today as the Royals fell behind in that first inning, fought back in the second inning to take the lead. Mets tied it shortly thereafter. Royals retook the lead, kept tacking on, and they beat the New York Mets here to bounce back after last night's loss with an 11 7 victory over the Mets to even this series 1 1.